Hey guys, happy Monday. Welcome to another vlog. Um, it's about lunchtime right now. And when I was at the grocery store the other day, I saw that Taylor Farms had this new dill pickle salad. And this is what I'm gonna have for lunch and we're gonna try it out. I'm gonna edit an entire video this afternoon and I've got some other work I need to do, respond to some emails. I hate when stuff piles up and I don't get around to it. So I really wanna clear up like, you know, my notifications, I guess. So it's just like a salad mix like that. Nothing crazy. And then I think it comes with breadcrumbs and it must be some kind of like dill dressing. I really don't know. Yeah, it looks like it's a dill dressing. So we'll just open these breadcrumbs, dump them on top, and the dill pickle dressing. All right. I really hope I like this and I don't like The dressing is amazing. Okay, I just know I'm gonna like this because I just know it's gonna have crunch and with a dressing that's good, how can you really go wrong? Kind of makes or breaks the salad. Just gonna mix this and then I'll let you guys know. If you're a fan of like dill pickles and stuff, you're definitely my kind of person because I like just love pickles. I eat them all the time out of the jar. So we're gonna check to see if this salad is gonna give us a similar zing, I guess. At least it's healthy. Okay. It's like really good. And then I'm just having some cherries because I love black cherries so much. I pretty much like any kind of cherry. So I'm gonna eat the salad and then I'm going to get some work done and then watch The Bachelorette later on, which I'm really excited about. So that's what's going on. I just finished watching The Bachelor and I made myself some dinner. And now I made a healthy peach cobbler. I have never made peach cobbler in my life, but I had three peaches and I didn't want them to get like rotten by just sitting there because I wasn't eating them. So I made it with like honey and oatmeal and cinnamon obviously like a bunch of different things but I was trying to just make it like a healthier version so it's not too sweet so I hope I did it right I didn't use recipe I literally just threw everything in it so who I don't know who I think I am Martha Stewart or something now I'm gonna watch Gilmore Girls I am one episode away of where Luke and Lorelai kiss and I cannot wait and the reason why I know this I mentioned in my other vlog I looked it up because I was so frustrated at the fact they hadn't gotten together that's why I know that they kiss in episode 22 I'm sorry if I spoiled that for anyone. I think at this point, everybody's watched that show. It's like ancient, so not ancient, but yeah. So I'm going to go watch that and um, watch them smooch. Oh my gosh. And they're looking at me like I'm crazy. I'm it's going to happen. It's going to happen. Crazy. They're going to kiss. Time I bought flowers for someone. Never. That's when. Very easy stat to remember. I loved the flowers. And then when I walked you home after the wedding, there was a moment. I, I thought there was a moment. There was. There was a moment. What are you doing? Oh my gosh. Just stand still. It's happening. They're gonna kiss. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Finally. What are you doing? Can you just stand still? Good morning, guys. I am just making myself breakfast right now. I was gonna put it in a pan. I started off with potatoes and, and bacon. And I make really random things sometimes just to get things out of my fridge. So I'm going to just put eggs on there, spinach, um, cheese maybe. Honestly, any vegetables I have in the fridge. As soon as that kind of like cooks a little bit more because potatoes and bacon are definitely what's gonna take longer. So I just have that in the oven right now. Um, it's about nine o'clock now. I'm just having some orange juice. Mm. But a package just got delivered, so I'm going to open it up with you guys while we wait. And I know this is jewelry because the outside of it says, Maxine, you deserve to sparkle. So I'm assuming that's who sent this to me. I will have it linked down below. Oh, okay. All right, all right, all right. 
I feel like jewelry is the one thing that I don't get sent as much as like, I don't know, products and bags, I guess, recently. So I'm pretty excited um, to get a piece of jewelry. All right, so the first thing is this sterling silver um, cloth that you can polish things with. So it's called a polishing cloth. Um, just a little booklet, some information on the brand, sales they're having, Maxine Jewelry, um, a little bag like this, and then there's two things in here. So let's check it out. It's bubble wrap. All right. First thing, I just got to push it out of the box like this. Okay. And I took all my rings off, so if these are rings, I will be able to put them on. They are rings. Awesome. Okay. These look so beautiful. Okay, so there's this thin one, like a stackable band. Wow. That's stunning. It's so sparkly. I don't know if it's coming up on camera how sparkly it is. And then there's another one in here, and it's also in gold. And you could just stack that right onto there. That's beautiful. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Okay. So those both just came in this case here. So now let's take a look at this one here. Um, do you guys see that? I'm sorry, what? Wow. I am actually speechless at this jewelry. Let me put this ring in between these two and wear this as a set because it's exactly what I would do. Oh my goodness. I can't. Okay. Oh my gosh. It's so, so stunning. That looks absolutely beautiful. I can't get over that. I mean, I love my wedding jewelry, but oh, this is so fun to wear. I'm not going to lie. That's beautiful. All right, Maxine Jewelry. Thank you so, so much. You blew my mind with these pieces. Um, they are all stunning. I will try to have them all linked down below with all the information for you guys because you you just can't like you you got to check these out these are beautiful so thank you I spilled something here in front of the fridge and some of it got underneath the island and he will not get away from there he literally is sticking his entire tongue underneath the island Harvey, stop. Harvey, stop. And this one's like, I'm not working that hard. Hey guys, I'm here with Sydney. Hey. <laughs> um, we just shot some uh, outfits. Oh my gosh, my stomach is growling so bad. I know, I'm hungry. Like, <laughs> we just shot some outfits for Instagram. We just, it's really, really nice out, like kind of hot though. Like it, it was it's, hot. It's it hot was out. hot. People were saying, well, it's 27 right now. Yeah. Um. Anyway, uh, everybody was like, wear sunscreen, and we just went out. We didn't even realize, like, no. I thought it was going to be probably sure wearing sunscreen. But anyways, we're just uh, really hungry now, so we're thinking we're going to get some iced tea and maybe some, I don't know where to get for food exactly, but we're going to figure it out. Yeah, we're just going to drive somewhere. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much how my day is going. I had to leave the dogs at home because, you know, I had to. And I'm watching them on the camera and they're just like by they're the door. They're so cute though. <laughs> they're literally sitting by the door like waiting for me to come home. So we're going to go and get some food and then probably end our shooting. Wait, no, we we're going to go back to the... Oh yeah, I forgot about that. Are we still going back to the parking garage? We have like these, um, you have like an athletic kind of fit. And I have yeah. like this tennis kind of like sweatsuit that we want to shoot at a parking garage so we're actually probably gonna do one more outfit and then um we're gonna be done but we're yeah. gonna get food first because yeah, we, we, we started i'm just back home now um sydney and i grabbed dinner so i didn't have to worry about that i fed the boys um they didn't get into anything while i was gone i was gone for like four hours normally they ripped up something but they didn't today um really really good and now i have some editing to do so i'm gonna spend my evening doing that and then um, we took a lot of photos today, so I'm trying to like filter through them, get rid of the ones I don't like, kind of um, 
and plan my content because a lot of the photos that I was filming was for companies. I have to post certain photos for brands. So some of them are due. So I have to kind of fill this room, see which ones I'm going to post, things like that. So yeah, that's kind of that's kind of the plan for the evening. And then I started watching Suits again and I love, love that show so much. And I'm so excited to like restart watching it and just kind of make that a thing. And obviously I'm still watching Gilmore Girls, but now that Lorelai and Luke kissed, I'm, I've got nothing else to look forward to. But I know the show will still get really good. Everyone says it continues to get good after that. So I'm really excited because I've really been liking that. Just got my package in from Shein. Um, and then I have, I have to film tomorrow as well for Fashion Nova. So pretty busy week for me, but it's been good. Cannot complain. And then obviously I need to clean my kitchen. It gets so, my kitchen just gets like dirty, like, cause I leave stuff out and just leave dishes out when I'm working so much. Cause I'm kind of like eat and then get back to work. So, I mean, working from home is all this like, people are like, oh, it sounds so glamorous. Yeah, it's like a privilege and I feel grateful to be able to do it. But at the end of the day, your housework does not, like, cause you're at home so much more so your house gets dirtier. So. It is what it is though. So I'm gonna go in, uh, you know, get a little bit of work done and also I need to respond to a few emails as well. And then I'm gonna watch some suits. I decided to make myself a snack cause I'm getting hungry. I had dinner pretty early and it's like 8.30 now. So um, I think I invented this and I wanna share it with you guys. So what I do is I just take an original rice cake and I put cream cheese on it. And then I top it off with my favorite jam or also if you want it to be a little bit healthier, add strawberries and honey. That's good as well. Um, but I love the um, like this strawberry jam so much so I'm just gonna top it off and it's kind of like having cream like cheesecake like craving those like decadent dessert cravings but in a healthier way because rice cakes are much better for you than like a slice of bread or a bagel or something like that and I'm trying to find sorry my dogs are play fighting in the background I'm just trying to find like things I can eat throughout the day that are on rice cakes because I actually really enjoy the crunch and um, there's so many things you can do. So that's pretty much what it looks like. So it's just cream cheese and jam, and it is amazing. I eat two of them, and then I'm full for like quite a few hours, and I love that. Boy, stop. So I wanna share with you guys because that's what we do here. We share little desserts, and if you guys eat these little rice cakes, then let me know what you like to put on them. Because I do peanut butter and jam, and this, and avocado with um, everything with the bagel seasoning. But if you have anything new, let me know because this has kind of become my new favorite thing. Good afternoon, guys. So I'm just gonna kind of like tell you guys kind of like how my day is going. This morning, I um, woke up like extremely early, 3.30, the, the, my dogs woke me up and then I slept for a few more hours and woke up at like 6.30. So by seven o'clock, I was already like wide awake. And then I just kind of like hung out with them um cleaned so much of my house today so i cleaned all my floors my kitchen laundry is going the vacuum is going like my whole house smells like cleaner it's amazing um i still have some things i want to do like clean the inside of the fridge and um things like that and clean the mirrors but mostly i feel like i got it done and there's so much of my to-do list that i've already finished but i still still feels like it's a mile long there's so much i need to do but i just got a package in from ivy verdure on instagram and a lot of you guys ask me on instagram anyway i don't know if you guys ask me on youtube ever in my comments what i use for chafing in the summer and normally i just use vaseline when i have that problem but this is a eye relief by ivy Dewar chafe stick and this is supposed to be amazing i've heard really good things some influencers that i follow use this and i'm really excited i have a discount code with them that they actually um gave me for you guys if you want to try this i'll leave it here in the screen i'll also link this down below because um it smells so so good like it's like an essential oil kind of like a clean sage like organic kind of smell but it's vegan organic i'm really excited because vaseline can get messy and gets all over your fingers this just having this in your bag and just applying it where you're chafing seems like a game changer i don't know how i didn't have that earlier so really excited to try that i'm also planning out my entire like content calendar for august because um I kind of want to see like fall is my favorite time of the year i love fall content i love fall wardrobe i love everything about it but i'm trying to figure out like what i want what videos i want to film what posts i want to make on instagram because if you guys do not follow me on instagram that's where i post all my outfit content and i'd love to have you guys there um if there's anything you guys want to see video wise or instagram posts or anything that you think i should do kind of like dip my toes into let me know because now is the time for me to plan that and i'm really excited because there is no time of the year that i'm happier then when fall rolls around. So pumpkin spice, fall colors, boots, I'm here for all of it. I am making nachos for dinner. This is where I'm at so far. Um, these are like Mexican style um, tortilla chips. They look like that. I think they're like local to where I'm at. 
Anyway, um, or maybe not. I don't know, because they have other products as well. What do I know? I've just never seen them before. So anyway, now I'm going to top it off with some double cheddar cheese. I have Tex-Mex like cheese, but I feel like I prefer this. I don't know why. This or like nacho cheese is kind of like my go-to. That's just my preference, I guess. And I think I'm going to throw this in the microwave just to melt it a little bit. So I feel it could be better if I melt it. Cheese is nice and melty. And I'm just gonna add the toppings that I have at home, which is a little bit of lettuce on top of there. Maybe I should show you guys, that might be more fun. We got some lettuce. We got some fresh tomatoes that I picked up. I absolutely love tomatoes. When I was growing up, uh, you could not get me tomatoes. I don't know why. I think it was a texture or something. And now I'm like, oh, what was I thinking? Tomatoes, and then we've got green onions. Let's make it excessive. Let's put a lot of them because they are amazing. I'm so bummed that I don't have black olives because that's probably my favorite like topping on nachos is like black olives. And all done. Sour cream and salsa everywhere. Look at that masterpiece. And I'm gonna go watch some suits and eat this on the couch because Steven's not gonna be home till later, so I'm just eating dinner by myself. Hey guys, I, uh, good morning, I guess. I'm just getting my nails done right now, but my morning was so good. Steven just made, uh, like, my favorite breakfast bowl with, like, homemade hollandaise sauce. Hollandaise sauce? Yeah, I think is how you say it. So, so good. Um, so I had that, and then we just hung out with the dogs, I had some cuddle time, and now I'm gonna get my nails done because these are looking ratchet and grown out so i just i'm five minutes early to my nail appointment so i'm just gonna go in and get that done and then i really need to run to sephora today i don't know if i'm gonna do that today or tomorrow because um i also want to film so there's that i'm um, using this little bag that was sent to me this like lv dupe designer dupe i love it it's so convenient um with the crossbody strap but yeah i'm gonna get that done i'll show you guys what i end up getting all done at the nail salon. This is what I ended up doing. Some final summer nails. I feel like I'm gonna transition into uh, fall nails after this, but I think they're so, so cute. And then I went to 7-Eleven, uh, got myself a slushy, and then one for Steven. This is so pretty. Something about this is like so aesthetically pleasing. And uh, yeah, the nail salon took so long because she was so like, she's taking her time, like detailing this like crazy. I've never been there for two hours. like. Well, maybe I have in the past, but I normally don't do design, so that's probably why. So that was good. Glad I got that done. Now I'm gonna go home and uh, kind of see what I'm gonna do. <laughs> Crazy. So I'm allowed to have the window down. Why? Because you're washing your hair today, so you don't care if it gets all greasy from the wind. True. Steven knows that he cannot have the window open if um, I have clean hair because I feel like my hair, my roots get greasy when I have the windows open. I don't know why, but I talk to other girls and they say I'm not the only one and that they're like that too. So it's not just me. It's a known fact. But we that, just that, to... That's fine. But when we started dating, you said, oh, I love to have the windows down and just driving around. But you don't. You only but, like to have them maybe once a week when your hair's dirty. <laughs> it counts, okay. So I don't want to drive around with you when you're dirty. <laughs> I'm not dirty. Well, apparently it's you are. It's just like air wash day. I could go longer, but I have a lot to do tomorrow, so I'm going to wash my hair tonight. <laughs> so once a week, you should be content. <laughs> no. Anyway, we just went to the um, grocery store and after being in there for like two hours, we decided to spoil ourselves with takeout. It's called a treat. We were in there for an hour and a half. It's called treat yourself. She wanted to go to Walmart to spend less money on groceries. Yet somehow we spent more money on groceries. Because <laughs> I wasn't really paying attention and we just kind of like bought whatever. Last week we spent 300, this week we spent four. <laughs> Ballin, um, it is what it is. No, it's not. It is what it is. No, it's not. I don't know if I should put this in my vlog. If you guys are seeing this, and obviously I made the decision to. I have to go to the fancy grocery store and get the fresh produce and the fresh meat and stuff, not Walmart. If I had a dollar for every time you interrupted me on this vlog, you'd have a dollar. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> I haven't made this kind of iced coffee. This is what it looks like. It's the Nest. 
Nescaf, Nescafe, I don't know how to pronounce that, iced java. I used to drink this all the time as a kid and I haven't had it in forever. So I'm going to put some of that in there and um, top it off with milk and that's pretty much how you make it. Maybe I should have put that stuff in first or last, but I'm telling you this is the quickest way to make yourself iced coffee, but it's more like a latte because it's pretty much all milk. So, so yummy. It's one of my favorite things. So if you want to try it, this is what the bottle looks like. So, so good. Hey guys, happy Saturday. Um, I am actually spending the morning, because it's good morning, I guess, it's 10 o'clock. I am spending the day shooting content again because I'm trying to plan out my August and stuff and it's going to be so soon that fall content is going to have to be put out. And I still have like promises that I made for shooting content and getting it out for companies. So I know that I have to shoot all these summer outfits and this is one of them. So I'm actually meeting up with a friend of mine who also is an influencer that lives in my uh, city. And we're gonna shoot content together, like three different looks. I'm really excited to get that done. And I also, I love shooting. I love photos. I love everything about it. So I'm really excited. I just went and took, picked up some baby's breath and a picnic blanket because we're kind of doing a picnic setup. So if you don't follow me on Instagram, you need to. Um, it's gonna be awesome. Um, the new photos that I've got. And I've also got this wedding shoot that I haven't even posted photos of because I haven't gotten them yet. So, so much good content coming on there very soon. So yeah, I uh, was supposed to meet her um a little bit earlier but because i set the time and that's totally my bad i was already supposed to be at the shoot for 10 o'clock but i'm running a little bit late but i had to pick up a few things so it is for the shoot so it's fine um and i didn't have time to get starbucks so it is what it is but i brought some cute props and i've never done a picnic kind of setup shoot before so it's really new to me but i took inspiration from a lot of photos that i've seen i just wanted to be simple but cute and we have a really good location for this so Fingers crossed that the photos are gonna be really, really good. So that's kind of what I'm doing. I'm on my way there. And guys, honestly, I'm so sorry that this vlog is so over the place. It just has been a weird week for me. And also I'm having a really weird day. I'm trying to stay positive, but I had a dream last night that one of my family members like passed away and I don't know why it's messing with me so hard that I'm like, what do dreams like mean? Should I, at, at this point, I'm just like, you know, I'm just gonna like take them as, I'll just be grateful because at the end of the day, like, you know, my family members are still here, so I'm just gonna take it as a, you know, I don't know, as a thankful thing, I don't know. It's just really messing with me and I'm kind of scattered today because of that. Um, and I know it's just a dream and I shouldn't even worry about it and I'm not like extremely concerned about it, but it is constantly on my mind that I'm like, oh, I can't believe I had that dream last night, like that really sucked, but I mean, it is what it is, so. Yeah. And I just missed some of the some of the turns in Edmonton are the worst. Like I don't know how to drive in this city. It's so different than what I'm used to. So I just find that um, that often I'm missing like the exits and stuff or the like yeah things I'm supposed to be taking because it just doesn't make any sense. And they don't even have warning signs. It's just all of a sudden hey you should turn here. And my GPS can't keep up. So I'm gonna try to um, get there without um, being too late. <laughs> <laughs> Tori and I are laughing because here's Tori um, because my boobs are completely out in this romper but I am just using it for a shoot and when I'm sitting down they're like spilling out and she was trying to like cover it before I started vlogging um, we're just headed to a bubble tea place that is super super cute in Edmonton because it's got a lot of greenery aesthetics we're going to shoot in there and plus get bubble tea I am anyway I don't know about you I yeah, love bubble I love bubble tea so we're going to do that we've already shot the first outfit we had like a picnic set up it went really good and now we're going round two Back at my favorite cafe and we got drinks. These are, what are they? Vanilla latte with oat milk. This place is so, so cute. We're about to shoot some content, I think, outside. So I'm back from my day of shooting and there's a package waiting for me, so I'm gonna open it up with you guys. As per usual, we've got a box here. There's Steven and Winston. I already cut the tape with you guys. Oh, it's a re, it's some, not refills, but probably some of the refills is from Fanola. For those of you guys who don't know, you guys ask me a lot of questions about um, what I do with my hair, what products I use. Fanola hair care is my ride or die. I have a um, discount code and stuff like that that I will leave for you guys down below if you want to shop them. They're extremely affordable and their products are, I'm telling you, like elite. They are so, so good. So I'm just going to open this box. Let's see. They always have the best packaging. So here you go. <gasps> Another Polaroid of a photo of me. 
Oh my goodness. I love that they did that with my first PR package. Okay, I'm already really excited. So then I've got, this says, thank you for all your love and support. Here's a refill on your faves and new goodies to try. Let me know how you like them. Enjoy. Love, Tina from Fanola. So let's start off with the refill. So this one here is a conditioner. My favorite conditioner from them and then my favorite volume shampoo. I live by these, they're my favorite. And then I also use their no orange uh, shampoo like every other time I wash my hair is to make sure it stays icy. And then the next product they sent me is a volume up styling spray like that. So the lid is kind of off. I've never tried this, I'm really excited. Um, she mentioned to me like if I wanted more volume products and I said absolutely because a girl can never have too much volume. This is a, I feel like there's some, it's like, something kind of spilled in there. The outside of this bag is wet. I don't know why that is. Oh, this product must have. No Yellow Care Shield Mist Spray Protective. I'm not entirely sure. Um, it looks like it leaked a little bit, but it was in this little plastic bag. That's probably why she put it in there because it probably tends to leak during travel. And then this is the No More The Styling Mask like that. I'm not sure exactly what this does. This might just be is it just like a hair mask maybe? I'm not entirely sure guys. Um, it's got a seal in it. Anyway, it's some kind of mask for your hair. So I'm really excited. This is such a cute package. Thank you so much to Fanola for sending me my goods. You guys, I'm telling you, if you have not tried them, they are so affordable and are the best professional hair products I've ever used. They make my hair look extremely icy and I get volume and it feels clean and light just love them sorry anyway i'm gonna stop rambling um i'm gonna actually go to sephora with steven steven's coming with me i'm not going to sephora with steven he's not coming with me we're going to some common area what i just see you staring at the camera oh um what was I saying? So we're gonna go to South Common Area because I need to go to Sephora and then I don't know if we're gonna do anything else in the area, but that's kind of how um, our day is gonna go. But I'm gonna take this little Polaroid and put it on our fridge with the other one they sent me. I love that. All right, well, that's pretty much my unboxing. Going for a drive with the boys. Oh, thank you for the kisses. You're supposed to be in the back. Oh, you're so cute. Harvey's back there. Where is he? There he is. Using the car as a playground is what they're doing. Hello, sweetie. We're just um, headed to uh, South Common area where I can go to Sephora. And that's pretty much all we're doing. We're mostly just doing it to go for a drive, take the boys out, we're gonna take them out for a walk somewhere. And uh, after I get to Sephora, I just wanted to show you guys what I ended up getting at Sephora. So I got the It Cosmetics CC Cream. I get the illuminating one because I love the skin benefits and it has 50 SPF. This stuff is, it's not overrated, it is amazing. And then this is a new product, it's the Dior Skin Luminizer. I opened it up so you guys could see. I did use it a little bit, so just because I was so curious. Huda Beauty was raving about it to put it underneath your foundation to get really glowy skin. And then I picked up the Inky List Retinol um, because I needed a retinol and this one's really, really affordable and supposed to be really good. And this is just my ride or die moisturizer that I've been using for like six years and I swear by it, so. That's what I picked up. We got home from church a bit ago and then I barbecued some hot dogs and I'm making myself a drink because it's the long weekend. Oh my gosh. I cannot get this shaker open. Just gonna strain this. A fruity little cocktail, my favorite. Yeah. Mm. My favorite. And then having some sun chips. Church was so good. Um, the service and everything was really great. And then I have to film today as well, so I'm gonna do that. It's so dark. I normally turn the lights on here, but I didn't. It looks like it's late, but it's 1:30. Anyway. I'm gonna finish eating and then touch with you guys later. We're just on our way to get ice cream right now. We took the pups with us. There's Winston and Harvey down here. Steven got this new mesh thing that like covers my whole seat back there for the dogs so that they can have their own area. But I feel like Winston like prefers the back back and Harvey like wants this area so they kind of get their own zones. But my whole like trunk is completely weather protected so 
I'm not worried about it, but um, yeah. We're gonna go to Kind Ice Cream and you have to stop in at work, right? Yeah. Yeah. To do something and then, yeah, that's kind of how our Sunday evening is going. We, um, what do we have for dinner? Pancakes. Yeah, we made actual like dessert and had a bunch of Nutella and peanut butter and stuff and that's what we're doing. Boys, <laughs> they're so cute. I'm just ending off my night with my favorite facial steamer and Steven's playing video games um, because I'm about to edit my vlog and that's kind of how we tend to end off most of our Sunday nights when I edit. He just plays video games and we just have both the pups laying on the couch with us. And I feel like my skin has been so um, congested, especially on my right side. Um, it's weird, like it literally is like sore and there's little bumps everywhere. I think I'm gonna go for a facial to try to fix it. Um, but for right now I'm doing this and then I'm gonna put on a salicylic acid face mask and then my full skincare after that, just to try to like make myself feel more serene. But anyway, that's it for this vlog. I'm sorry it was so all over the place guys, but Thank you so much to my vlog crew. You guys are the sweetest. And thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.